So here we are in After Effects. I'm going to start creating a new composition by dragging the footage down to the comp button. I'm also going to uh, use this sign border by dragging that on top. Here's the sign border and what it looks like. It's a fairly long thing that's going to go around the edge. In order for us to use the red giant tracking correctly, I'm going to drag this layer down until it touches the very top of the composition. Just like that. So you can see, if I just move out a little bit here, that it's hanging below. Let's just move that up again. Then with our sign border selected, we go up to Effect, a Red Giant Warp, a Red Giant Corner Pin, and now we see it's applied. So then we can come up to the Mocha Import section, go to Load to Pins, select our sign that we exported from the tracking before, and you can see there it pops in nicely. You'll notice this is a little bit jacky because I'm running at quarter resolution just for the speed factor. You can set that to full if you like, but for in purposes of the tutorial, I'm going to keep this quite low. You can now see that the track is solidly on there. We've got a little bit of overlap here where this windscreen wiper thing comes across, but we can mark that out later. If I just quickly RAM preview that. You can see the track is quite solid. Because this is RG Warp as well, we can select our sign border, turn on motion blur, make sure motion blur is set on our actual composition, and we can see that the edges soften and blur as the motion comes through. Obviously this is a, a quite white border so we can help to add to the composition by going up to our effect panel again, color correction. In this case I'm going to stick a toner, change my highlights to the white of that, and our mid-tones to that as well. So that blends in much nicer. We can also go ahead and add in a perspective drop shadow. This is quite a severe drop shadow on this lettering here, so let's just change our opacity to full. We'll get the shadow colour from there. And we'll expand the distance out a fair way. Similar to what's on the lettering. Since this is covering, I'm going to go an extra step further and pre-comp this layer by going up to Layer, Pre-Compose. I'm going to leave all the attributes that I've just applied in the effects panel. I'll call this sign border. Okay. And let's go inside that. Using the zoom tool again, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. I'm now just going to scale this down a little bit to make sure that it sits just above this blue line. So, selecting my sign border, I'm just going to press S for scale. I'm going to unlink the relationship between the two. And we'll just bring it down. I'm just going to try about 98. And move it back up to the top. Just so we've got a little bit below the border here. So that's sitting pretty much exactly where we want it to be. Just make sure it's sitting still okay on the top. Yep. We can still see the wiper is 
underneath our placed border. So now I'm going to go back inside Mocha and cut this out and then use Mocha shape to bring it back into After Effects. Okay, so here we are back in Mocha. I'm going to, using the zoom key, just zoom in a little bit to this area that we want to cut out and start drawing my shape around the wiper here. going to use the tangent just to pull this curves in a little bit. And that'll probably do. Now right now this layer is linked to its own track, which obviously we haven't actually done any tracking for this layer. I'm just going to call this layer something. Let's call it Wiper Mat. In order for this mat to follow what's been going on, we need to change our link to track to sign track. Then, if I just turn on my selected mat and zoom out a little bit, you'll be able to see that it follows along with the track because it's no longer linked to its own layer but rather the track of the sign track layer. Now that we have our wiper tracked and rotoscoped, I'm just going to come down to export shape data, choose mocker shape for After Effects, for the selected layer, and copy it to the clipboard. We can now go over to After Effects to finish the job. Okay, so back in After Effects, I'm just going to select my Art Beats layer and duplicate it with Control D. I'm going to move it on top of my pre-composed border layer, and making sure I'm at the beginning of the timeline, I'm just going to paste it with Control V. Now if we come down all the way to the bottom, you'll see our shape is now sitting on top. If I just go to my effects panel, you can see this, I'll just do a color shape cutout quickly. It's sitting there. And if I turn off this layer, you can see it's underneath and now on top, because the shape is sitting where it needs to be. And here's the final result. To recap, what we did was bring our sign into Mocha and track a long pan using an unlinked track method so we didn't have to move the spline search area while we were tracking. We then brought the corner pin data into After Effects and used RG Warp to pin the corners of this border to the sign. I then went back to Mocha and cut out our wiper so that it would appear on top of our border just to add a more convincing effect. This has been Martin Brennand for Imagineer Systems.